Hello folks and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to add a blog to your existing WordPress business website or add a blog to your e-commerce store or dropshipping store. Now I highly recommend a blog because it's a great way to talk about your products or your industry and get some conversation happening so that people trust you and believe in you. And also it's great for search engines. So what's, what's going to happen is we're going to basically add a blog to our e-commerce site. I'm going to show you how to add it to the menu so the user can click on that section. They'll be able to look through your blog posts and then click on something they want to read more about. And then they're going to see the blog post and be able to read about the thing that you have to talk about. And so, as I said, I highly recommend this because having a blog on your e-commerce or business website is a really great supplement to everything else you do. It's also great for search engines. So we're going to attack this in a few easy steps. First, we're going to create the blog page. We're then going to create some blog posts. Then we're going to change some WordPress settings so that WordPress recognizes that your website forward slash blog is where you want to list all your blog entries. We're going to remove any unnecessary data from the page. You'll see that in a second. And then importantly, adjust the URL structure for your blog post so that it looks like this, yourwebsite.com forward slash blog forward slash the name of the post, which is super user friendly, but also great for search engines to know what content you have on your site. And the more blog posts you put on your e-commerce store or your WordPress business site, the more chances you give search engines to find your website on varying topics that people search for answers. We're going to also then finally add that blog to the menu so users can easily navigate. Okay folks, so to add a blog to any existing WordPress or e-commerce store, um, first we're going to need to add a page called blog. But if you're anything like me, what's going to happen is when you go to add a new page, you're going to see the new style WordPress editor. It's just going to come up in a second. This one here, it's called the block editor. And like me, I hate this. It's really non-user friendly. And I really just want my old WordPress editor back. So it's going to make it harder to create blog posts as well um, if you're not used to this. So if you want to get the old content editor back, just go back to your dashboard. We're going to install a new plugin first before we even start the process. Go to plugins and click on add new. And it's this one right here. It's so popular that it just comes up automatically. Now, if the classic editor doesn't come up, just search for it and you'll be able to find that. But effectively, you need to just install that classic editor. And then hit activate. Okay, now that you've done that, I just want to show you a quick example of what you can do with that classic editor. You can set it so that anytime you open editing for a page or a post, the classic editor comes up by default as opposed to this new block editor, which I find really terrible. Um, you can also allow users to switch between block and classic. Yep, you can do that if you want. But anyway, now that that's active, all you need to do now is go to add new. And guess what? You've got the old thing back. It's beautiful, easy to use. And now what we're going to do is create a page. So this is step two, by the way. We're now going to create a blog page. So let's create a page called blog. That's all. And we're just going to hit publish. What that's going to do is create a URL of yourwebsite.com forward slash blog. That's perfect. Now what we need to do is let's create a couple of sample blog posts. So step two, create blog posts. I'm going to add a new post, not a page. All blog posts need to be posts. So now let's give this one a title. And I'm just going to copy and paste some dummy data that I've got here with me.
All right, so let's just say, for example, this is our first blog post. I'll hit publish. Actually, one thing I forgot to do, of course, is when you create a blog post about your topic, so let's just call this topic one. You want to create a new category called blog. So add a new category called blog and make sure that your new posts are assigned to that blog category. That's really important. Hit update. Now your URL um, structure will actually work on that in a second. I'm just gonna create one more blog post. Let's just say this is post two. And of course, create and select the blog category if it's not already created. Now you can keep going. Anytime you publish a blog post, it's great because you can just keep adding content to your website or your store. And it's a great way, not only for search engines, but for your visitors to know that you're an expert in the topic. So we've created two blog posts. Um, so far, if you go to your website forward slash blog, it's not going to come up yet. It's just gonna be a blank page. That's the blank blog page we created. So now step three, what we're going to do is change the WordPress settings for blog so that when you go to that URL, your blog posts are listed. To do that, go to settings and then reading. Okay, so here you're going to have to select this radio button here and then ensure that the home page is always home. That's fine. But now the posts page, remember how we just created a page called blog? We want WordPress to know that blog is our home page for blogs. It's our posts page. You can actually select how many blog posts to show at once. You can also choose whether to show the full blog text or just include a summary where your user has to click on the post to be able to read the whole thing. So let me just click on summary for now and then I'm going to save changes. Perfect. Now let's just go back to our website and ensure that that works. Perfect. So there's our blog post. And when the user clicks on a particular post, there they are taken to the entire blog post. Now, one thing I like to do is remove this stuff over here. I don't like the option for users to leave comments and all of this other data that is really not necessary um, from the post page and also from what we're going to call the blog listing page, which is this here. So. This should actually be step 3A, I guess, which is remove unnecessary data. Bad spelling there, but anyway. What we're gonna to have to do is go into customize, just over here. And now that you're here, just go to the section called blog First start with the blog slash archive page. That's our blog listing page, which is this one here. Now what we want to do is under meta, we want to basically click on this icon here so that it hides that data from the listing page and then click publish. So there we can see it's gone. And now we're gonna to wanna to close that Go back to customize. And then go to blog again, single post, which is the single blog post. And then again, hide these things from the single blog post, hit publish. Now, if we just close this and go to our website, 
I'm just going to show you that that worked effectively. Okay, so there's our posts. Now, sometimes I actually have full blog posts, but I can change that later. When I click on a post, there we go, we've removed that data that didn't need to exist for the user to be able to leave a comment or show who the author was. It's unnecessary. And now you can basically start adding blog posts onto your WordPress site. And don't worry about this comment section, that's only there because you're the admin user. Anyone from the public won't see that. Okay, let's move to step four, which is adjust the URL structure for the posts. You'll see here that we've got this strange URL structure, which is the date that we posted this blog entry, plus the title. That's a not very user-friendly way um, to structure the URL for search engines. So to change that, just go back in here, go to appearance, uh, sorry, go to settings and permalinks. Now, regardless of what's selected already, go to custom structure, delete everything in that box. What I want you to do is click on category and then post name. What it's gonna do is the URL structure is gonna be the category of the blog post forward slash the name of the post. So I'll just save that. Now, when I add a new post and also for any previous posts, by the way, and you'll see this in a second. Let's just say that's a blog post. I'm going to select the category blog and publish. You'll see that the new blog post automatically reflects that new and better blog structure, which is, um, sorry, URL structure, which is the website forward slash the category. Now, of course, you can add as many categories as you want forward slash the title of the post, which is perfectly user friendly. Um, it's also great for search engines. And of course, any previous or old posts you've done will also immediately reflect that new structure. So that's an important step there. Now, last but not least, I want you to add blog to the menu of your WordPress website. To do this, go to Appearance and Menus. You're going to see all of the um, website menu items over here. Now all you need to do is go to pages and select the page that we created called blog. Actually, no, it's not here. And the reason is we created, we, we made forward slash blog our blog page for WordPress. So what you actually need to do is go down here and create a custom URL. So enter your URL dot com forward slash blog, which was the name of the page we created, add to menu. Perfect. Sorry, I forgot to add the label. So it's going to be called blog and go to that URL. Okay, now just drag and drop that where you want that to appear. And of course, you can change that label to anything you want. But when you're done, click on Save Menu. Now, as an external user to the store or WordPress site, I'm just going to open this in a new window. You can see you've now got blog in your menu. When a user clicks on that, They'll be taken to the blog listing page. They can select a particular blog post. And there it is. An easy way to add a blog to any WordPress site or e-commerce website. Use it to your advantage and show people you know what you're talking about and you'll start to gain trust and that will lead to more sales. Okay guys, give this a thumbs up. Any questions, ask in the comments and I'll catch you next time.